previously on Dust World. Kevin's now inside of Stuart. Are you guys leaving <clears throat> Razzlo behind? Are you gonna talk to him anymore? I'm gonna come over and talk to him real quick. That thing's been in your head, right? Yeah. Uh, and I was tracking her because it was part of the nine lieutenants of Red Earth. I was tracking right. all nine. Do you have this list on you, per chance? He like pulls out a roll of papers and he hands it to you. They're wanted posters. You flip through and you see Alistair, Juno, and Matsu. And then uh, you see a man named Ferris. You see a picture of a woman and it says Sierra, the swordsman. You also see a picture of a buff looking black guy with some like techno gizmos and it calls him Barrett. Mm-hmm. And another one of a man called Tetsuya. Sierra. I'm gonna hold up that one and say, what's your leads on this one? Where is Sierra? She could be anywhere. What does Sierra have to do with it? I, I don't know. She joined them a few months ago and started helping do their dirty work. She's obviously strong. She ended up in as a lieutenant faster than anyone. Now we follow our heroes. Gage Thane, a dust cast in sword wielding monk from the mountains of Black Earth. Clarence Wales, a telepathic child runaway whose mind is strong enough to bring grown men to their knees. Kevin Wolfkin, the sharp shooting, foul mouthed, fox faced hunter from a hidden village of war wolves. Let's see what becomes of them in Dust World. I hope you know, this is a minute, by the way, I hope you know that I'm going to call it Stevan for the rest of the time. <laughs> Stuart. Until Kevin leaves the body, it's uh, going to be roll, Stevan. And I will be roll, stupidly, overly uh, determined. Call it, roll spot, both of you. <laughs> My character has so much to think about now. <laughs> you seem to care awful a lot about this person named Sierra. Yeah, well, we're all hunting someone, aren't we? No, I'm trying to escape being hunted. Uh, consider yourself a lucky variable. So, you guys got a 16 and a 17? You say so. Yeah. So, dun, you dun, also dun. notice that there's a well right there. That is all. You ready to go? I, I walk over to the well because I'm like, wait a minute. Hey, Clarence, what's the chances that bugs can fly out of a well? Hi. Okay. Why are you asking me? I'm not a mathematician. I didn't see you. Gosh, right. I'm not even worth talking to anymore. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try and just collapse the well in on itself so it's closed. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's like made of stone. Oh, it's like a well. You can see what it looks like. Well, people get water out of well, that. well, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Do I? So I walked over the well. Do I notice anything in particular about it? Maybe like a significance to it, or so you can people. hear the faint scurrying of bugs. I'm gonna take a Molotov and just drop it down the well. Okay. Like kind of just chuck it. People <laughs> drink water out of that. Guess not anymore. Hey, Clarence, can you run inside and grab me a couple more bottles of tequila? I don't really. <laughs> this is as I'm lighting the next one. <laughs> Not your errand boy. But here's your tequila. <laughs> Cleanse for three more. Oh, good. I didn't need them for Malta, so I just wanted to drink. <laughs> Not you. You do hear it explode, though. You hear like. <laughs> Sounds hey, Clarence, like Clarence, I think I just gave Zazzle some airmail. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like popcorn's popping. Okay. Ooh, I just had an idea. Did you? Maybe it's a bad idea. <laughs> well, that? we already used my bad idea, so let's use yours. My idea is, okay, since I know Zazzle's directly kind of down there, what if I just jumped in and took my dust blade swords and used it kind of like Wolverine claws and just like slid down into the, the well to attack? That, pretty boss. I mean, that's pretty boss move. I feel like I would die, though. <laughs> I feel like I'd get down there and Zazzle would be like, ha ah, bug attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Anything. It's Clarence, possible. what do you think my chances are do if it. I just jump down the well? Do it. Oh, I forgot to do my regen, too. I probably should do that, because I'm doing one. 
If you can kill it and we don't have to go down the cave, that would be preferable to me. I don't really want to go down the cave. I'm glad you're in support of me going down the cave. <laughs> well, you seem very excited about using your powers. Oh, but that takes stamina, though. Or what? what? Is, to do what? No, it wouldn't take stamina. Speaking of, use my sword, my dust swords. To since you don't like it down. when I call Just it like normal. Trick. Yeah. No. Okay. May I help you with that? So you're gonna try and jump down the well? I, that's what I'm Can thinking. I Just like take him? my swords and like. <laughs> I'd like to strengthen him for this because <laughs> it's almost like I tried to help you with this once. I wonder what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I have a zero. My speed step. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea. Are you gonna lower a rope for me? No, I can. There's a rope. You can just sit speed jump and hang on to the rope. I don't trust the rope. Plus, I would have looked cool sliding down. <laughs> Okay. Um, what, uh, what were you saying, Are you, you, are you over it still? I'm like right beside it, kind of. Like <sighs> up on the edge. Okay. I'm going to explain this to you once because you. Oh, I love it. Okay. Six. Sixteen. Okay. You notice when you look down the well, there is fire. <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> ah, you know, maybe the cave's not a bad idea. Oh well, I'm sure the job. Let me explain something to you. Not right now, Shorty. No, we need to go into the cave. Important. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> the mind is more powerful than the body. This is the first thing you must understand. If the mind thinks it can do things, it can do things that the body didn't know it can do. Therefore, I have an exceptional mind. Right? We won't talk about my body. I can lend that mind to other people so they too can have an exceptional mind that can transcend their body and they can suddenly become much faster, much stronger, mm. more than zero speed. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Zero speed? Uh, <clears throat> I mean <laughs> Okay, Deadpool. Break that fourth wall some. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say anything about zero speed. Anyway, <laughs> point being, would you like to be faster and stronger sometimes? That's the trick. The trick is I help you. Help me. I suppose. You like doing cool things. I can help you do cool things to protect me. Or do whatever. I, I suppose that's okay, but at the same time, not really fully comfortable with you dancing around my mind. Fine. We'll try it once. We'll pick an appropriate time, but you have to be completely open to it. <laughs> I am not going up against a wall inside your head and banging <laughs> my head against it. Did because you like, I already do that Did you like my enough. voicemail message I left in my mind for you? No, I did not. <laughs> it gave me a headache. <laughs> well, that was your fault. You should have asked first before you just got I barging into someone's you. mind. I didn't have time. You didn't have time to say, Hey, buddy, I'm about to try and enter your mind. I was telling you. You came up and creepily touched me and told you wanted to show me a magic trick. That is not telling me anything. I came in a really weird What kind of, of magic trick <laughs> would did. actually hurt you from me? Actually, I know some, but I won't use that. Wow, that was the most unreassuring, reassuring pep talk I've ever heard, Clarence. Well, okay, I so what are you guys you. doing? Clarence going is trying to cave. convince me to allow him into my mind. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Well, like... And he can actually... He can buff you without even touching Mind is over matter. Mind over matter. You can be all the matter you want to so be. So Clarence, you're saying right now, if I sat there and I reached across this little distance and smacked you upside the head, your mind would win over my matter of hitting yes, you. Yes, because I would stop you. I have side shield. <laughs> okay. Next. I'm kind of curious to try this now. No. <laughs> we have... Clarence, we here's, have a here's what's going to happen. You're going to stand very still. I'm going to reach across and smack you. Stuart, you're Stuart. Feel dumb. <laughs> you see, Stuart is... Stefan is not involved in this, so you need to leave Stefan out of this. They are having a very intimate bonding moment. This is between you and me. 
<laughs> yeah, you hate me, but that's okay. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. All right, I think we're going to the cave at this point. I don't know why you protect me, but you do, so we're fine. Uh, As we enter the mines of Moy, I've already pulled a pippin and dropped something down the well, so we've already ticked off what. Yeah, down but at there. least it was actually helpful. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's true. You think we'll meet the Balrog? <laughs> A Balrog of insects? That would be horrifying. <laughs> it's going to be her nest, and it's going to suck. Oh, no. Are you thinking I mean, I realize that's all an them? abstraction here, but I really can't stand insects. I lived in this little house in Indiana. It wasn't that little, but it was in a hill, and it's down by the Ohio River, right? And, just, and it was in the forest, right? Yeah. Just a trillion bugs constantly streaming into the basement. Oh, it shows the whole thing. These daddy long legs. It was awful. Hello, players. It's Paul Purnell, your purveyor of fun and exciting stories. You know, your GM. I could also be your second best friend if you want. Anyway, if you're interested in putting a shout out in the show or being a sponsor, please email us at business at paulparnell.com. We would love to hear your feedback on the show and the characters, and you can find all of our social links in the show notes below to connect with us. We also really appreciate you sharing the show with your friends. Every like and share and follow just really means so much to us. We just want to say thank you. Finally, let us know if you'd be interested in a Dust World beta that you could play with your friends. We really appreciate you playing along with us. Now let's see what happens. We can do this. Is Kevin going to die in my suit of armor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to clean that out. It's going to lower the value. You're just going to open no. it up and Kevin's body's going to fall. No, Gage is going to help me out. He died in the fight. You probably shouldn't have brought him into battle in a tin can. It kind of works out, though, because I had this idea, and I wasn't going to tell oh, you guys about it. Refresh is it? Ta-da! What happened? Oh, we're in the cave? Yeah. Uh, uh, scroll oh, there down if you don't see yourself. Okay. Oh, there's the ball at the top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're not going down that way. You know, I'm kind of glad I didn't jump. Only a little bit, though. Yeah. It still would have been cool. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I had the idea of pulling a full metal alchemist. If Kevin died, we could use your psi powers to, uh, to like, attach him to Stuart. Split personality Stuart would be funny. I'm not a comfortable or <laughs> No, we should we should just attach this Stuart is my friend. <laughs> <object. laughs> I'm mean, chair. Oh, Get off my face! Get off my face! I'm gonna shoot you! You don't got any arms. I'm gonna shoot you in the eyeballs! No, this just, reminds me of Gotcham and really Krauss, where like uh, Hajime, the main character, <laughs> like stuffs the villain into her clothes, and so and it's constantly like her it's actual like, clothes. Yeah, it, it, it's it's about social. No, media. I'm thinking if we make him the sword, my swords. <laughs> and so every, time I, every time I get her clang, would you stop so that? Her <laughs> enemy is constantly trolling her to the oh, point, funny. but she doesn't care because she's cool. But you know, it'd be funny if the guy who like was going after a bounty on my head was stuck in my armor. Having said that, <laughs> in character wise, I don't think Clarence would be. Comfortable with that. That'd be fine yeah, with yeah. attaching him to like an old sword or something, and just like throwing him around. Anyway, so you would get, that wasn't you would get that into that. So <laughs> that, that could a, actually happen. <laughs> just drop him in the river. Oops. So yeah. well, I wanted him to obviously have a body, so that his character would basically be the same, except for he would be a robot. We could maybe find something for that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so here you guys are. Welcome to the cave. It's stinky. You hear, like, crawling of insects in the distance. Uh, you see your m- burning Molotov <laughs> cocktail, like, fire, and uh, and some popcorned bugs in the general vicinity. And welcome. It smells. Gross. Gross. Wow. It smells like burning insects. Great. Delicious. <sighs> Glad you're such a love the smell. No. I thought that was going to be your answer. <laughs> Glad you erased sunshine in the dark cave. Uh, anyways, um, so spot check for anything like of use as we enter the vicinity, like in the immediate entrance. Uh, just items on the ground, anything, check. information. I do it. Let's okay. do the spot check, Dan. Uh, but it's the yeah. public trash sure that really drives me insane. What? 18. Rocky Horror. 18. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... 16. Wow, 16, right? Okay. Yeah, you you notice um, 
that there is a trail of like dead insects leading towards the um, Molotov area. We can't get past that fire though. Or can we? I say we leave the fire for now. Blocks the uh, exit. So we go the other way? Yep, we go towards the sound of bugs. Wonderful. Well, yeah, there's bug sounds coming from both directions. Okay. There's a trail of bugs. Clarence, you you head that way. I'm going to just double check and make sure we uh, killed everything. (laughs) Excuse me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go stand by the fire. Go check that side of the cave. He's like, not having any of that. (laughs) No. All right, so I'm going to approach the fire. Okay. Uh, Do I see any bugs, like, on the walls or anything that can jump me or anything stupid like that? Oh! 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 (laughs) What? Oh! Which which way? Well, I think we have fun. It's time to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> oh, Canali, I see it. He can see it. He's just not scrolling over Scroll there. Scroll sideways on the screen. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. Tri- other way. Other triple, way. Other triple, way. triple, triple. No. <laughs> come over here. Let's Clarence go. Runs down the other oh, hole. God. Clarence. Good, but uh, no, nope, come back. So come, come over. Here. Let's go together now. We're not doing this. So it's an up actual thing. praying mantis looking bug. Yeah. So you oh see, you see a large praying mantis type creature. Is that her? I hope that's not her. Oh gosh, I have a feeling these all paths lead to Satan bug. Okay, let's just do this. <laughs> Well, it's not a Satan bug, Clarence. It's a praying mantis. No, it's a Satan bug. <laughs> it's a God-fearing mantis. <laughs> Maybe if we preach to praying. it, it'll let us go. You do just not strike me as a religious person. Well, not, but I'm thinking I might baptize it in fire. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> so at this point, is the bug doing anything? It'll be anything? completely fine. Uh, it's just kind of like it. crawling around in this general vicinity. Clarence, head the head. I'm talking mentally to him. Clarence, head down the other tunnel. Let me know if you see anything. I'm gonna no, keep an eye on this thing. Come with me. I want to make sure this thing doesn't come and ambush us. We're useless sometimes. I'm useless. You're the one hiding. I wonder why. Yeah, buggy, buggy, buggy. Come towards right. the fire. So Are you I'm trying to attract it? Well, I'm figuring there's fire still burning, so I'm like. All right, so I'm going yeah, down buggy, the buggy, path. Buggy, buggy, buggy. Clarence is going down the other path up above. Okay. Does he find anything there in that blacked out area? <laughs> I hope it's Sazzle. <laughs> if so, I'm darting back. Have you ever. S- okay, some swing girls. Swing girls. Clarence, anything good over there? You find Zazzle? Found saloon girls. You would be into that, I suppose. You're kidding me, all the way down here? <laughs> Maybe we should switch now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, and so the saloon girls, like when they see you, they like look at you for a second, and then they go back to doing their like kind of uh, the walls are covered in these kind of like mud dauber nests, and they're kind of like tending to them, like building these muddy nests. <laughs> <laughs> <You> found the <laughs> nests. <laughs> That's just great. Actually, mud daubers are like one of the nicer wasps. Like they're actually pretty <laughs> docile for wasps. Both paths lead to the Satan bug. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to track the bug towards the uh, fire and see if that maybe has some fun. You're going to try and attract a bug to fire. Do you re- would you like me to send it your way, Clarence? No, I would not. Thank then you, stop arguing and let me do my plan. I'm just pointing out. Here, certain buggy, 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 buggy. I'm sure it understands English. You know what, Clarence? Kind of tired of your mouth. All right. And your mental mouth. So I'm having a very bad day. I pulled out two co- Molotov cocktails and I got them ready. Okay. So it gets to the fire and it, it like kind of moves forward and like, and it like feels the fire and then it backs up. Starts climbing on the walls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to have to do something, aren't I? Okay, so the saloon girls don't really care about me, do they? So it's able to, like, climb on the walls above the fire, because the fire is not that high. All right, I'm going to chuck a Molotov into the ceiling. 
Into the ceiling? And just like try and like catch it on fire on both sides. Did that work? Well, if nothing else, I could fall back on it. Roll d20. You uh, just throw the Molotov at it at the ceiling. Sure. Coordination? It's on the wall, not the ceiling. It's on the wall. Okay, well, I'll throw it at the wall. And okay. it can fall into the fire, hopefully, if I okay. spin it enough. Um, so I have a question. D20 yeah. plus four. Do the saloon girls notice me? I told you, they looked at you and then they went back to the So they don't room. care, so I can move, right? I'm so 22. <laughs> it's pretty solid. Yeah, you definitely hit. Okay, and here's the moment of truth. Yeah, and it falls into the fire. Ah! Yes! Yeah, now, the bug is on fire. Oh no. It's coming out of the fire. <laughs> on fire. Clarence? You know, this is rather Clarence, ironic. I'm just, I'm stepping back slowly like, Clarence, I miscalculated. <laughs> you know, this is rather ironic. I was actually just going Isn't to help you with Stuart and, but... Clarence? Now who's gotten too far ahead? Clarence, there's a flaming bug charging me. What am I supposed to do about it? Send Stuart for the fire? Will that actually work? He'll melt. Okay, at this or point, I'm like pretty you much backing towards uh, the Wolfkin others. Wolfkin is inside of Stuart. He will definitely die. <laughs> do we care at this point? Two birds and one stone. No, he forgets. He forgets Kevin's in there. <laughs> Sends him in. Hey, wasn't Kevin in there still? Isn't that Stevan? He like opened it up and he's like, crispy fried. Do you smell, do you smell chicken? <laughs> Free smell food. Tasty. Barbecue. <laughs> do you smell barbecue? Barbecue fox. Clarence. Chaos reigns. Clarence, oh can, can, you, can you do something about the bug? Because the bug is coming towards me and it's on fire. Oh yeah. Why don't well, we it's on your name? side of the fire. That is the thing. Well, you know, bring it to your side of the fire. Infinite Pixel is a proud member of Nerdsmith.org, a collaborative network for delivering nerdy entertainment, fan-supported, and shared with all. If you would like to support Dust World or any of our other shows, you can go to nerdsmith.org and click donate. Hello, friends! Welcome to the Birchfield Institute Archives. Sit with me among these ancient tomes as we explore, like sands through the hourglass, the days of the. Faustus, what are you doing? Ba- <coughs> oh, hey, Ren. Oh, my gods! What is all this smoke? Ah, it's just incense. For the ritual. How else am I going to reach through the plains to tell these fine folk about all the cool adventures that our friends have... You cannot! Hotbox in the special collections wing! You will ruin the books! I can fix anything that gets broken now. That is not the point! Threads in the Veil, an audio drama series on nerdsmith.org or wherever you get your podcasts.